All right, so we have this uh, we have this equation here in terms of the matrices A, X, D, B, and C. And uh, the question is asking, what is X equal to? So we need to be able to algebraically manipulate this matrix equation so that we get so that we can isolate X, so that we can get X equals something in terms of the other matrices. And to solve this, um, we're going to use some properties of matrices. So the main one we're going to use is that A, some matrix A times its inverse, A inverse, equals the identity matrix. And uh, this, you could also say A inverse times A. So a matrix times its inverse in any order equals the identity matrix. And if you have the identity matrix times any matrix, it doesn't change. So it's like multiplying by one. So the identity times A equals A. So we're going to use these two properties um, to solve for X. But as we're going through, we have to like be especially careful. Because back in your algebra class, when you were just solving for X, where X was just a scalar instead of a matrix, the order, they were like, you could be a little more careless. You could be a little more carefree, right? So for example, in algebra class, if you just are thinking about scalars, 3 times 4, for example, is the same thing as 4 times 3, right? This is the commutative property of multiplication. But once you start, once you start to use matrices, um, the multiplication is no longer commutative. So in general, A times B does not equal B times A. So as we're going through solving this, um, this equation for X, we need to pay extra attention to the order, like if we're multiplying on the left or if we're multiplying on the right. So let's just jump right in. So at the end of the at the end of the day, we want to get x equals something. So we have to just kind of play with this algebraically. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the left hand side, and I want to I want to get rid of this big inverse here. So I'm going to right multiply the left side the left hand side of the equation by um, the matrix D plus B x. So really quick, we're going to assume all of these matrices A B C D x are all the same dimension. They're all square. They're all the same dimension. And they're all invertible. Uh, so that way, for example, you can like add the matrices together because they have the exact same dimensions. So like I said, the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to write multiply both sides by the matrix D plus BX. And why am I doing that? Well, you can see here, if I do that, I have to do it to both sides. But interestingly, this here, this matrix is the inverse of this matrix, clearly. So an inverse times a matrix, that is going to just simplify to the identity matrix by this property up here, right? So then this left-hand side simplifies to A times X times the identity matrix is equal to C times D plus BX, right? And A times X times I, oops, A times X times I, the I doesn't change anything. It's just like multiplying by one. So the left-hand side simplifies further to A times X equals C times d plus bx. Okay, the next step is I'm going to distribute this c through the sum. So that still holds. You can still do that. So the right-hand side will simplify to c times d plus c times bx. But it's important that you keep the c on the left side because here we're left multiplying each of these terms by c. So we couldn't say like dc. We have to say cd. We have to say cbx. The c has to be on the left. Okay, we're getting closer now. I want to get all my terms that have the X matrix on the same side. So I'm just going to subtract CBX, the matrix CBX from both sides. So then I would get AX minus CBX equals CD. And I'm really close. I could just, you could think of like factoring out an X and then dividing. and Like that's how you would do it in algebra, but it's just slightly different now. So right now I have to factor out the X. But since the X is being multiplied on the right side of both of these terms, I have to factor out the x kind of like to the right. So what do I mean? When I factor out an x, I get a minus cb. But I can't put the x here. I have to put the x here because it's being right multiplied in both of these terms. OK, the right-hand side doesn't change. And now the last step is we just have to get rid of this matrix a minus cb. And to do that, we can just left multiply both sides by the inverse of a minus cb. So if I do that, I get a minus CB inverse times a minus CB times X equals, we do the same thing to both sides, a minus CB inverse times CD. 
and then this boom just cancels right it's equal to the identity matrix and then the identity matrix times x is just x so then we've done it so then our matrix x is equal to a minus c b inverse times c d and we've got it all right thanks for watching